I'm Clayton Wells. This is my restaurant automata. The main thing that we focus on is our menu evolving. The creative process normally starts at about three o'clock in the morning when I wake up and you know, lots of the time it's it's a memory that's evoked from eating something, it's a, a colour or something I'll see in the street. But I normally start with one thing and it all just sort of happens around that one tiny little thing. I'm Clayton. Christina. Stuart. Hi, Anna. Hi nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my restaurant, Automata. Creativity is everything to us here, and it comes in so many different ways. Today you're going to be tasting a dish without being able to see it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. I want you to capture what you eat today in one single image. I felt pretty vulnerable. Any photographer without their sight would feel pretty intimidated when you're stripped away from your greatest tool. Feels kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but almost sophisticated, and somehow that's giving me something visually. The first thing I felt was the initial cold bowl and kept seeing the colour blue. Like, that was pretty prominent for me. Shapes came to mind and straight away it does start to literally sort of paint an image in your head. I'm very interested to see the perception of what they tasted. Seeing what I create and then what they create side by side. What stayed with me was the sophistication of the dish. It had lots of layers to it using this almost beauty lighting, using the right model, kind of brings in this elegance. Sour, sweet, tangy, the colour blue. How to replicate that feeling that I had in my mouth. The colours have been constantly on my mind. The image that I had in mind was almost like an abstract painting. I don't expect to know exactly what it's going to look like. It's just constantly evolving to like a finished product. So I wanted to make it about the sensation of having unexpected things come your way. I imagine this white translucent thing. In my mind I was piecing together this quite alien kind of scape. I didn't expect them to look anything like this. That's why I'm so quite, quite shocked by it, you know, in a, in a very, very good way. Hey, Stuart, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. How are you? Hello, how are you? Good, nice to see you. These are amazing. <laughs> Nothing what I thought they'd look like, and I love that. <laughs> so the dish you ate was stracciatella cheese with steamed mussels. Yeah. And I was thinking about how can I use food to create the feeling, I guess, that yeah. I got, as opposed to trying to look at every ingredient. I came away with words like layers, sophistication, and yeah. beauty. Yeah. And that's all things I got from the dish. So this dish was a uh, yogurt sorbet with uh, meringue, uh, and then it was finished with rosemary oil. So basically, I was trying to evoke the texture and temperature of the dish. Yeah. I decided to see what kind of interesting juxtaposition I could create between yeah. the human body and then yeah. something so foreign and so cold. Yeah. So alien. So the last one, a grilled octopus right. with a puree of uh, squid ink yeah. and fennel. I think because it was on a spoon, it was literally, I imagined it as this little island. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the things kind of in progression one by one that, I, that pop into my head. Yeah. What surprised me the most was how you get so much information from a spoonful of food. It's not just limited to your tongue, but to your thought processes. It evolved from just thinking about colour to mapping out like a progression of these sensations as a 3D space. I wouldn't have created this image if I didn't have that dish or if I didn't do this experience. 
it kind of put me in a place to do something that I'd never done before. You never really feel ready to approach a brief that's out of your comfort zone. You kind of just have to go out and do it. And you always surprise yourself 